In 1994, the headcount in RBI was 33,500 employees. In 2001, this number declined and became 29,992. And by 2011, it further declined to 18,132 employees. And today, as per the latest report in 2023, the number is 13,490. It means. More than 60% of the staff in this time had left, actually have retired, but the fresh intake was lesser. Therefore, the headcount of RBI has declined by 60% to only close to 14,000 employees. Now, what is happening in RBI? Is the future of central banking is changing? The powers of RBI are getting reduced, or RBI is not interested in doing many work? Hello everyone, very welcome to iExambi. My name is Chandra Prakash Joshi. In today's video, I will answer all these questions and what I see as per my understanding, as per my experience, and as per my studies and research. What I see is the future of the central banking. How you are going to make a career in this? This journey of RBI, I will. Give a brief journey of RBI will help you to understand the central banking and why RBI is a very very powerful central bank. And let us see where the future goes. RBI started on April Fool's Day, first April 1935. In a separate video, I have already told how the first governor of RBI, Sir Osborne Smith, actually started working before RBI got established. That video is there in the short history of RBI. RBI started with taking over the functions of the controller of the currency in India, basically issuance of the note. There used to be a separate department. And RBI took some of the banking functions from the state bank. That time it was called Imperial Bank of India. That is Bankers Bank and Bank for the Government. Monetary stability was definitely a role from the day one. After the independence in 1950s, the shift of RBI, the focus of RBI shifted towards building the nation. That was the priority. RBI Davis IV played a very key role in developmental financing, especially in agriculture and industry. Establishment of the two key institutions here. DICGC Deposit Insurance Credit Guarantee Corporation 1962 which is a fully owned subsidiary of RBI ensuring all your deposits up to rupees how much you write in the comment and establishment of UTI the first mutual fund of India in 1964 slowly the focus shifted towards the rural development agriculture establishment of nabard therefore happened in 1982 12th of july earlier rbi used to have agriculture finance department this function was given outside to nabard so that there is a special focus on financing agriculture and rural for the development that was the agenda and later in 1988 housing bank national housing bank was also carved out of rbi so what are you thinking that rbi was delegating all its functions no rbi is an institutional builder also rbi was developing some functions in house but later this was not in line with the exact central banking so therefore these separate institutions were carved out this was the time of pre liberalization that was the time of tight control over everything in the market including the foreign exchange there used to be fera foreign exchange regulation act where the agenda was to save as much as foreign exchange possible the earning potential was very very less post liberalization economic reforms in 1990s the situation changed fera became fema foreign exchange management act and also institutional building like sebi rbi has a critical role because now the market are going to play more important role in the development of the economy and there were more focus on strengthening the banking regulation and supervision with the onset of the private banking new licenses were given to today's hdfc bank icici bank axis bank axis bank was owned by uti that was created in 1964 and so icic bank was owned by icic earlier as the economy grew more market based the focus of rbi shifted towards managing the interest rate in the market inflation targeting also came later on frbm was also passed monetary policy framework was defined better in 2007 to control the payment system rbi was also given the power under payment and settlement act of 2007 to regulate the entire payment industry to focus on the consumer protection and all kind of cyber security measures i hope you are not getting confused here what rbi is doing sometime taking lot of activities and then creating new institutions so the need of the hour whatever is required for building a robust banking and financial system in the country for of course the purpose of the growth rbi keeps on taking new initiative but then rbi again realized that rbi is a central bank 
वट एवर इज नॉट कमिंग इन टू द कोर फंक्शन ऑफ द सेंट्रल बैंक आर बी आई क्रिएट्स ए सेपरेट इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक आई सेड अबाउट नबार्ड और एन एस बी और डी आई सी जी सी द लेटेस्ट वन आई वुड कॉल इट एन सी पी आई द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ यू पी आई यू कैन सी हियर एंड द फुल्ली ओन आर बी आई इंस्टीट्यूशन अगेन इज आर बी आई इनोवेशन हब फॉर एनकरेजिंग इनोवेशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ द फाइनेंस स्पेशली पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस आर बी आई रियलाइज दैट आर बी आई हैज टू बी फोकस्ड ऑन द कोर सेंट्रल बैंकिंग फंक्शन देर फॉर सम ऑफ द फंक्शन विच आर नॉट वेरी कोर टू आर बी आईज मैंडेट are given to other institutions what are these core functions number 1 is monetary policy sometime as a joke we used to say when i was in rbi that a day will come the governor will only be signing on the note and only will be doing monetary policy but that is not actually true so in addition to monetary policy a core function is banking regulation and supervision rbi is very very strong regulator and supervisor over banking and non banking space all nbfc licenses are given by rbi rbi is actually tightening that market by merging non banking and banking supervision into one department called department of regulation for regulation and department of supervision as supervision of all banking and non banking entities when i was in rbi they these used to be two separate department and third is payment system monetary policy regulation supervision payment system which is evolving why technology is playing very very important role rbi is also trying to do all innovations with the help of npci or launching its own currency called cbdc and fourth is understanding and regulating financial market Today all markets are globally connected and especially when we are talking about capital market and forex market the headcount of RBI is actually declining but if you see RBI's focus on the core function is increasing and RBI is using better technology better data in that and in terms of recruitment also RBI is recruiting specialist RBI is recruiting more officers in the organization the ratio of the organization sorry i don't have the exact number now i will add that in separate video the number of the officer the proportion of the officers in RBI is increasing because the work is becoming more analytical more like a thinker and policy maker less in the operational aspect like counting currency note there used to be a huge number of people called coin note examiners in rbi their job was to manually check whether a note is forged or not today this work is mechanized there are machines which can identify counterfeit note so today rbi focus is on automating thing rbi focus is on analyzing the data rbi focus is on creating financial inclusion by creating digital payments by innovating and rbi focus is on the customer protection customer education rbi kehta hai series if you see you will realize rbi is even going to kbc to promote financial literacy financial education there are different challenges with the onset of ai now there is need to build a regulatory framework for using ai there are ethical issues with ai and there is a strong need of skill development of all people those who are working in banking and finance space including rbi officials and also customer in general because unless population in general is not aware about the technological fraud possible no regulatory authority can stop it completely central banking is a unique job all over the world every central bank has a unique position because it has to be defined as per the economic demographic and cultural issues with that particular country say in case of india rbi harps on two factor authentication so that customers interest can be protected the point i am trying to tell here is the central banking is going to be as important as it was earlier in fact it will increase but the focus will shift towards technology as all the consumers also are shifting towards technology therefore rbi as a central bank will continue to do the core central banking functions but some of the developmental functions it will continue to give to maybe more institutions in coming years and also maybe very high tech functions it may give it to some other institutions which may be fully owned by rbi or which may be promoted by rbi in addition to stake of other government and non government organizations like npci as a central bank what i see rbi will continue to work on monetary policy banking supervision payment and settlement system financial inclusion digital currencies using more and more customer data for the overall objective of ensuring financial stability to foster a long term economic growth if you have any comment any suggestion or any question please ask me my objective is to help you in making your job preparation 50% faster to unfold your potential if you like this video please share it i wish you all the best